big story. It's a story really that is so incredible. It could be a movie in the making. Tonight, a man is sharing his story of survival. Yeah, two days trapped in a mine shaft with no food, no water, and no help for miles. John Waddell talking to Team 12's Ryan Cody about an unlikely rescue and struggle to survive. Hey, good evening, guys. You would think falling down a hundred foot mine shaft miles from civilization would be the civilization would be the scariest thing about this story, but it is just the beginning of a 48 hour nightmare for John Waddell. I didn't know anyone was coming for me. I thought I was going to die. Just imagine the darkness. 100 feet underground, John Waddell's cell phone flashed the only glimmer of light after falling down a mine shaft outside Wickenburg. The reason going down there was just uh, exploration. You know, just to see if I could see any more gold. But his focus shifting to survival, massive blisters and burns from the rope, but in dire need of treating his shattered legs and ankle. There was a stick there, so I used the stick, put it inside my boot, and pushed just as hard as I could, and I set my leg. But soon, injuries would be the last of Waddell's concerns, realizing quickly he's not alone. And I look up, and there's a rattlesnake coming down and once I got my splint set, I pulled out the stick and started beating on this rattlesnake. I killed that one. And as I was leaning over to the side, I could feel something going underneath my arm. This is a second rattlesnake. Eventually killing three snakes and endlessly fearful of more. You don't know where they're at, but you could hear them. Waddell's biggest nemesis, dehydration and the only water in a place you would least expect. I was popping the blisters and drinking the fluid to try to get something in my system. And just when it seemed like the end. He's a tough guy. Good friend Terry Schrader to the rescue. He hadn't heard from Waddell in a couple days. I could hear him hollering. Help, help. I started hearing someone hollering back and I, I broke down and started crying because I knew that you know, I'm going to get out of here. Over here. I was just so thankful. It was, it was quite a ride. It'll be about six to eight weeks before Waddell can walk again, but says there is still gold in that shaft. And with a little better equipment and a spotter this time, he plans on going back for it. Guys, back to you.